President Obama and the First Lady will be in attendance at Thursday's memorial service for those killed in the fertilizer plant explosion. Slowly, people living in West are being allowed to return home, but those closest to the blast site, they will still have to wait a bit longer. And now we know the town will be without water for up to three weeks. Fox Sports' Natalie Solis joining us from West. And Natalie, you actually talked with a woman today. You met her the night of the explosion, and we very clearly remember her because she was very distraught when you spoke with her. How is she doing tonight? Well, she she is improving. It's been very, very difficult. But, you know, it's been five whole days since uh, the explosion rocked everybody's lives here in West. And, uh, and now we are really starting to see the emotional toll that it has taken, especially for this one woman in particular who we met that horrific night. I don't remember absolutely not much of anything of that night uh, when you just asked me uh, it's like I was seeing you for the very first time because I don't remember seeing you or even talking to you nothing we met Julie Saherniak right after the blast it's just so much that I mean it's like I'm numb I can't even feel whatever it is that I'm supposed to feel that night still a blur but the shock wearing off the Zone 2 resident was with her 11-year-old son walking on the middle school track across from the plant, completely exposed when it blew up. And his little sore started coming and stuff, and it was burning. Her so, skin has uh, peeled. She still has headaches, burning eyes. Her son hasn't been the same. Vomiting, nightmares, going back to school, terrifying. He was just didn't want to go, no, what happens, something happens to me. How would I find you? How would they know? And I reassure him. Like many other residents, these are the first days to see their homes. Support coming from all directions. I was going to fix it myself. I had all the tools and stuff, but a whole uh, squad of people just came in and took over. The West Community Center, once used for triage, now a bustling resource center for residents needing information. But despite the progress, a tremendous sadness lingers. A few yards away, Dallas Fire Rescue Captain Kenny Harris's body lies in repose. People here know healing cannot be rushed and pray time will solve the uncertainty. We don't have uh, absolutely no answers, none. Now it's decision time. All right, well, as we learned earlier, uh, the people in the blast zone still have no water, and it could be some time uh, before they get it back. In the rest of the city, they are still being asked to boil their water. Also still unclear when the people who live in Zone 3, that's the hardest hit area, when they may be allowed to return home. Heather? Oh, Natalie, I feel so bad for the woman and, and her little boy. But tell you what, there certainly has been a huge show of support for all the victims, people giving so much in donations. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, that's really been the good in all of this. And I spoke to someone earlier. They say that they have uh, all the volunteers that they'll need, at least for now, and they plan on continuing with the service here, services here through uh, the week. So that's definitely a good thing. The donations those have been pouring in, also a great thing. But they want to remind people that donations are labor intensive. They do require people to be there to help sort and distribute them. So they want people to focus on cash and even gift cards. And if you want to go the gift card route, they suggest getting them from a local store, maybe the local grocery store, uh, the local uh, building supply place. And that way people can also help uh, boost the local economy at the same time. Heather? Great idea. We also have a link to that information on our website so folks can go there. All right, talk about the investigation part of all of this. How's that progressing? Right, that continues. Well, investigators spent the day mapping the site. They are making a 3D image of the crater, and they'll be going coordinate by coordinate and really trying uh, to figure this whole thing out. Uh, they say that they are still also doing inventory of all the chemicals on site. They're still not exactly clear what all was there, but they do reassure people that it is safe for the people who live around the site and for the investigators are there who are there, and they add that they are not going to rush the investigation. And they say uh, they're going to take their time and they want to make sure they are as thorough as possible. Heather? And safety first in all of this. Natalie, thanks right. much.